how to invest money. So a lot of people, when it comes to investing money, they're actually doing this one thing. They are actually spending money. And the problem with spending money is not going into anything. It's not producing any ROI. So one of the things we have to do is whenever we take our money and we invest our money, we need to always look at what's the return on investment. So a lot of people always ask me, so John, what are you investing? So one of the biggest things that I invest in that produce a lot of ROI is business. So there are different types of business that you can actually start investing in, either your own business or somebody else's business. Now the thing is, if you don't have any time, then one of the things I highly suggest you do is you look for other businesses to put your money into. This is what we call an entrepreneur and not an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is when you work in somebody else's business and you build that business up or you become a silent investor in that company as well. So for example, I know a lot of you right now have friends, you have family, you have people who may have come to you and asked you for you know, some money to invest in their company. Well, if you invest in their company, but you don't do, you don't do any anything in that company that could be called either a silent investor or we could be called what we call a strategic investor so there are two parts to this when you're investing money think about can I put money into that company and can I add value to that company so that's what we call a strategic investor so you got a strategic investor here okay and if you want or you can become a silent investor so when it comes to investing your money, think about, can I put my money into a company and add value? If that's you, you let the CEOs and the owners run the company. And then what you do is you put your money in and then you just let them do all the work. And when the value of the company goes up, then your company goes up as well. So that's what a silent investor is. Another thing you can actually start investing your money right now is you can start putting your money into so as you know, technology is growing and growing and growing and growing. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So imagine if you were one of the first investors in Uber or Airbnb or Netflix or Facebook, that like you'd be doing very, very well right now. So when you're investing your money, instead of spending your money, you want to put it into something that increases in value. And you got to think about this, for, an, for example. Let's say you were to take £100,000 and put that into Facebook you know, 10 years ago, that would produce you a lot of ROI. But the problem is a lot of people don't get access to these tech examples, right? Or these tech businesses. So where can you find it? Well, first of all, if you can attend you know, tech conferences, there are lots of tech conferences out there where a lot of startups are having new ideas, they're pitching for seed capital. And one of the things that you can do to attract these opportunities to you is, so one of the things that I do is on LinkedIn, um, if I'm looking for investment, as in for these types of technology companies, then I'll change my status to tech investor. Now, what, the, what a lot of these people do who are looking for finances is they'll actually type in tech investor and they'll find a whole list of people. And if you're in that list, guess what? You're gonna receive a message one day to say, hey, we have a great idea. Would you be interested in investing in it? So that's another thing you can do, like investing. Do you know how long it actually takes to save up? You know, if you want to save £100,000 on an average of three, £300 saved every single month, it's going to take you 27 years to, you know, to save up £100,000. But if you were to put £100,000 into a company you know, and, and those companies grew in value, then guess what? Your, your ROI increases. So this is why I would say to people, if you want to invest your money, you're always going to look at the assets. What assets are you putting your money into right now? Another thing you could do as well, like a lot of people come to me and say, John, what's the biggest thing that, that I can invest in? Like one of the best ROIs is this. Marketing. If you have a business right now, or even if you don't have a business, you can actually put your money into some marketing campaigns and those marketing will then turn into ROI. For example, that's, one, that's actually one of the things that we teach at our events where uh, we actually run two day business events where we're teaching people how to get an ROI on marketing. So for example, for every pound I spend, I can make back three to four pound per spend. So it's a four times four, four X return. So imagine if there was a machine where you could put a pound into there and that pound give you four pounds out. That'd be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? So that's why when we talk about marketing, putting money into marketing, if you know how to utilize the budget, 
and you will, you will be able to get a good ROI. And again, for those of you who have no experience in doing this, as long as you get some experience in learning how to market in different social media platforms, you're able to then take your money and then disperse that into all these different social media channels. And what happens, you generate a lead at a low cost and you can sell it at a high cost. For example, one of my students out in Malaysia did this. So a lot of developers, they spend a lot of money on marketing. But if you think about this, for example, they might spend 100,000 but only get 1,000 leads. But if you're able to produce a higher ROI, maybe you know they, they give you 50,000 but you can produce 5,000 leads. That's the power of different social media types of marketing. So like investing your money into what we call direct response can produce also a high ROI as well. And sometimes you don't even have to do any of the work. You can just take your budget, give it to somebody who already can utilize that budget and then whatever they make, they can split with you as well. I know this may be sounding a little bit advanced, but this is something that people are doing. It's something that I personally do myself. I take hundreds of thousands, millions of pounds and I put it into these marketing machines and they produce a higher ROI. Even if you could just double your money from doing that, that would be way worth it. So when I, whenever I'm thinking about different types of asset building, I'm always thinking about what can I put my money into that's gonna grow in value. Another thing that you could do, watches. You could actually scour the internet for exclusive types of watches that sell for a higher price. For example, there's lots of Rolex brands that sell for specific, you know, price points. There's, um, you know, AP types of watches that sell for specific price points. Like you could buy one today and sell it for five or 10 times the price tomorrow. So that's the whole point of having, you know, different types of asset types to actually start building this. Um, you could do this with classic cars, you can do this with paintings, but the whole idea is whatever you're spending your money on, think about where are you putting it? Are you putting it into something that increases in value or are you putting it into something that decreases in value? And this is the biggest key when it comes to creating income because I can tell you, most of the times when you put your money into something, 95% of the people are putting into things that go down in value. You know. Instead of going on holiday this year, you're gonna spend 10,000 on holiday, why don't you put it into a piece of real estate? Or, even better. So you may be thinking, well John, like you need a lot of money to invest in real estate. Well you do, but what if I told you this? What if you could be a part of particular projects within property that could actually produce you a high ROI? So let's take this house for example, right? Let's say there are four bedrooms in this property. And let's say an investor to refurbish this property it might cost them 30,000 pounds. So what you could do is you could approach one of these investors and you can say, you know what, I'll give you 10,000 to fix the downstairs and have a new kitchen, new bathroom, whatever, right? But what you want is you want a high ROI because what these people do is they take the property, they fix the property, they sell the property, they make the profit. So what you could do is you say, you know what, I'll give you 10,000 for three months but I want about 12,000 in three months. So that means you're making a good ROI on your money and you're making your money work hard for you. So there are these the different types of projects. Um, some people refer to this as crowdfunding, but it's not really crowdfunding. What it really is actually becoming part of a project and becoming a partner or holding shares in that particular project. So this is another way you can actually start making and investing money. And there are lots of different ways to do this. The, the problem is most people, with like for example, I'll give you an example. For me, my I was I was working as an animator, right? And I was getting around two thousand pounds, and you know after costs and so on and so forth, my rent was like eight hundred pounds. I'd be left with one thousand two hundred, right? If you do one thousand two hundred divided by four, you know it's not very much, and that actually works out less than twenty-seven pound a day, which is crazy. So if you think about this. Think about what you're currently earning and what, what you want to take a percentage. So let's say this is your salary, take a percentage, half that percentage and save that or invest it, right? Saving actually, you're, you're losing money. So you want to take that income and you want to save that money or you want to invest that money or save to invest, but don't just save because then you produce a higher ROI, right? So if you look at that, that last example, you know, I had like eight, 800 pounds divided by four, that's 200 pounds, divided by seven, that's 27 pounds. So it's hardly anything. So it's really hard to save money and, you know, to make money. So to make money, you have to invest 
your money wisely. A lot of people don't do it the right way. A lot of people spend it on cars, they spend it on new shoes, new dresses, new whatever, right? You wanna take your money and you wanna be smart with it because you work so hard for money. What we have to do is make money work really hard for us and that's the key to all of this. If you found this useful, by the way, do me a favor, around this video, there's gonna be a subscribe button click the subscribe button and also make sure you turn on the bell notifications because every time I'll be creating more videos on investing and also so, so you don't miss out on that. And also if you have any questions about anything I've talked about, then just leave a comment below and I'll personally answer your question. And um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll post another video around here. So if you click that video, we show you more ways to start investing in property. I really hope that you found this useful. This is John Lee, the author of The Wealth Dragon Way. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.